being a podcaster, an author, and a writer, a past management consultant, a coach, certainly something that is uh, an amazing combination. So in what way has this integration and combination mm -hmm. of roles and experience, skills, and interests you've acquired helped you approach what you do today and even have the impact that you're having? Yeah. You know, it, that mentor, that former boss who is a mentor said to me at one point after I had left the consulting firm and I was working freelance, you know, he introduced me to someone who he said, oh, you should talk to him. You both are really interested in having portfolio careers. And I thought, I, that, I just used that term a few minutes ago, but at the time I had no idea what that was. And I was like, oh, portfolio. Like, I was like, do you mean like, you know, like a financial portfolio? He's like, yes, like diverse things you do. And I was like, oh yeah, that is what I want. And I just thought I left, partly left that management consulting job because I just didn't like doing one thing all of the time. And I wanted to try, there were so many different things that I, that I wanted. So the mashup is the perfect way to describe the way I've built my career. It was this light bulb moment for me that you could even do that, right? I, to me, a job, and I was, gosh, I'm trying to think how old I was when he said that. I was probably 28. And so at that point in my life, I really thought a, your career was the, the thing you did all day right? It was what you did. There was one thing you were employed by an organization or a company, or you, maybe you were owned your own company like my mom did, but that's, you had one thing. And that this idea that you could have multiple things, and I'm sure lots of your younger listeners are probably going, well, no, duh, but it was, it was not a concept I grew up with. I know you're a fellow Gen Xer. It's probably not one you grew up with either, right? Not at all. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. And so that, that was really he, it wasn't even advice. It was just sort of a reflection to me of what I was striving for that I didn't even know that I was, I was striving for. And he, and, you know, it really, it changed the course of, of my career in many ways that, that former boss changed my career in many ways. So I'm internally grateful to him.